Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm gonna review another product from my Big Lots haul. This time, I'm gonna review the Keto Coffee. I got, the, got this Keto Coffee, and best part of all, I don't know if the price tag's still in here, but it was only a buck. So you get an entire coffee container for only a buck. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, usually, you know, these types of things cost about, I would say two, three bucks, something like that. And being keto with eight grams of MCT oil, it probably would even cost more. But just to give you an idea, this has eight grams MCT per can, which is pretty good. This is a MCT oil from Costco. And just to give you a little uh, comparison, this has 13 grams of MCT medium chain triglycerides, and that's in one tablespoon in this. So that's actually pretty good that this has a decent amount of MCT oil compared to, you know, if you just bought it, a bottle of it, especially for a buck. So I found at Big Lots, a lot of things cost as much as the regular grocery stores, sometimes even more than, you know, your typical Kroger store. But if you look around and you kind of make a rule that you will only buy things that you know are less than grocery stores, you can find some deals like this can of coffee here. This is by Victor Allen's Coffee, Keto Coffee be Beverage, eight grams MCT, naturally flavored with other natural flavors, it says, made with 100% Arabica coffee. In one can, it's pretty good, only 100 calories in this entire thing. Four grams of protein, and let's see how much sugar's in here. Ah, that's pretty good. Total sugars, less than one gram. So you can tell that they were trying to make this into a pretty healthy drink. So ingredients, coffee, water, coffee, uh, MCT, milk, protein, whey protein, and on and on it goes. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So let's give it a little shake, open it up and see how this tastes. And the leaf blowers have a, a, arrived right on cue. You can hear them outside. I always like adding the leaf blowers uh, to my videos. All right, check this out. The Keto Coffee 8 MCT. Here we go, three, two, one. Test this out. And that's actually quite tasty. So I think in general, um, these canned coffees don't really taste that good. But as far as canned coffees go, this is probably one of the better ones. It's pretty good. It's on par with, you know, maybe Nestle. Um, as far as tasting different with the MCT oil, uh, there's really no difference. I can't tell at all. And as far as mocha, so that's the thing about, they always say it's a flavoring mocha, but if you compare this mocha with a Starbucks mocha, for example, they don't taste anything alike. And if you compare them side by side, you'd think you'd be having a totally different drink. So just something to consider. Generally canned drinks that say mocha, they don't taste anything like mocha. And yeah, so that's probably why I don't drink canned coffee. It's just, if you like the flavor of coffee, <laughs> you're not gonna like canned coffee because it tastes nothing like coffee or mocha or anything like that or chocolate. But uh, like I said, I'm going on a rant here, but like I said, uh, <laughs> this is pretty good for as canned coffees go, and I like that there's not much sugar. You got MCT oil in this, so yeah, I do recommend it if you can find it for you know maybe around two bucks, or go to your big lots and find it for a buck, even better. Try it out, get some MT MCT oil in here, and yeah, let me know what you think. Have you tried this? Have you seen it? Have you been to Big Lots? Find any deals? Let me know. Leave in the comment section. And if you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. If you watch this on Facebook, you can become a Facebook fan. You get exclusive content. And yeah, till next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.